soothing, relaxing, and connecting us with nature. Bird watching certainly has its merits. It's no wonder it's a growing hobby worldwide, and here in Aruba, with more than 250 species of birds, locals and visitors to our island are captivated with birding opportunities. Aruba, with its semi-arid climate, diverse flora and fauna, and unique landscapes of beaches, reefs, mangroves, marshes, rolling countryside, and lushly landscaped resorts, is a haven for species that take up permanent residence, as well as those species just passing through for rest and refueling before journeying on to North or South America. It's just after dawn in Aruba's Spanish Lagoon area, a favorite spot of local bird watcher, wildlife photographer, artist, and nature conservation activist, Armando Hukedrag. Ever since he was a child, Armando has had an affinity for nature, growing up and playing in Aruba's Mondi, the island's countryside, and the sea. As he got older, his passion for nature was translated into art through photography, film, and painting. So I discovered my love for bird watching in 2011. I got really inspired by a lot of photos that uh, were taken by bird watchers. I was really shocked like the amount of birds that are currently in Aruba. That got me really intrigued to also start to pursue this uh, new hobby of mine. The moment I discovered my love for bird watching was that um, I started implementing uh, the birds in my painting. I love to paint uh, Aruba's nature because it's very rough and it's not perfect and it's also very unique in terms of uh, the colors, the, the shapes of the trees. Or the... Yeah, it's just very beautiful what all these birds have. I like to paint the shoko a lot, uh, the hummingbirds as well, and uh, the tropia which is, which is nice, uh, with its nice orange uh, bright colors. about the Spanish Lagoon is we have a lot of birds coming here. I call it like an airport because a lot of birds, they, they're migratory or native, they come here. There's a lot of food here. When you stand on top of this hill, you can see a lot of uh, birds coming over. And especially in the morning, it's nice to see them fly over. There are a lot of types of birds like the egrets, the herons, the wada wada. They have more the native ones like the trupial, prikichis, and the sun rises is always very nice here as well. Spanish Lagoon's landscapes attract many of our local species of birds. One of the more uh, popular native birds to discover here in Aruba is the Choco, the Prikichi, the Wara Wara. And we have two hummingbirds, the red one and the, the green one. We also have the patrici. It's also a very nice bird to discover here. Fun thing also to uh, see here in the Spanish lagoons, the warblers. We have a lot of uh, warbler species that come here. So it's great to see them with the binoculars or if you have a good camera with a good uh, lens, you can, you can spot them uh, very nicely. So our shokos, the burrowing owl from Aruba, it's a, it's a very special um, owl because they dig holes into the ground um, to nest and that's where they also live, so they don't live in trees. They're very small. At the Spanish Lagoon we have a nice nest because we have a nice flat area of sand with some, some hills and that's something they really like. And throughout the year they breed once, sometimes they breed twice, but that's on rare uh, occasions. And yeah, it's really fun to see them living out here. Aruba is also home to two species of hummingbirds, the more common blue-tailed emerald and the less common ruby topaz, which prefers the wilderness and is much harder to spot. In fact, one of Armando's most memorable bird-watching moments came from a chance encounter with these typically shy ruby topaz hummingbirds. So throughout my bird-watching experience, I had a lot of nice encounters, like very nice wild um, moments, and one that was 
particularly really special to me was the red hummingbird so it came up to me while I was walking it kept hovering in the sky and uh, the colors were really popping um, in my eyes so the sun was hitting it really directly so you could see the gold color and the, the head turned really red so that was really a nice experience. Although you may not be lucky enough to spot the ruby topaz hummingbird, the blue-tailed emerald is more than happy to make an appearance. If you look uh, across your uh, resort, um, you might see a green hummingbird. An impressive number of migratory birds flock to Aruba every year to escape the chill back home and indulge in Aruba's warm sunshine for a few days, a few weeks, or even months. So the migratory season starts in August, and that's usually because of the, the rain that comes to Aruba, and it ends in about, like, in March. Many of these migratory birds are shorebirds, preferring to wade, breed, and hunt in wetland and coastal environments. Aruba's rainy season typically falls during the bird migration season, filling our salt pans, known locally as salinas, with water and creating an attractive environment for wading shorebirds. The following morning, Armando took us to the Selenia adjacent to the Ritz-Carlton, across the street from fishermen's huts. So at this Selenia, you can find a lot of different bird species. The migratories uh, like to come here. And we have a lot of duck species, like the blue-tailed, the white-cheeked, and also a lot of sandpipers come here and including the osprey as well, because we have a lot of fish um, at the Selenia. And it's important that we get a good amount of rain um, so that this place fills up and a lot of food can, uh, can live here. Our final destination is the Bubali Plas Bird Sanctuary, another bird watching spot on the island frequented by these migrating shorebirds. This bird watch tower is really a nice place here as well because we you can get a nice overview of everything here, including seeing big birds fly over. Sometimes we get a large group of frikichis. Uh, in this case, we get a lot of ospreys and um, the herons, the peregrine falcon. But yeah, so Bubali Bird Sanctuary is a special place for Aruba. For the environment, it's important because the migratory species, they love to come here because there's so much food. The Bubali Bird Sanctuary is a man-made intercoastal area. The observation tower here provides bird watchers with their own bird's eye view. And we were in the right place at the right time, spotting a night heron. These clever birds hunt at night and into the early morning. There's another fun fact that I'd like to mention is that we, we found uh, an osprey that was tagged. So some birds get tagged in, like, in the States uh, when they're babies so that we can see how far they go. In this case, we spotted an osprey and that one was, uh, we noticed it came all the way from Alaska, which is amazing because Alaska is pretty far from Aruba. Protecting our various environments around the world is crucial in maintaining not just a local healthy ecosystem, but a worldwide ecosystem, especially for migrating birds that rely on more than one environment for food, rest, and breeding. It's important for us to protect the environment because you can see, like, for example, the osprey that came all the way from Alaska. If we don't protect our environment, or if they don't protect their environment, the bird does not have a place to go anymore. Uh, obviously, it will try to find a place, but it can be very exhausting. That's just beautiful to see how the world is connected in terms of the, the whole nature, the species. Bird watching is a wonderful way to make this vital connection with nature and perhaps even connecting with ourselves. Science is eagerly digging into this phenomenon, with more and more studies showing that slowing down and taking the time to tune out daily distractions and observe nature can lower stress levels our blood pressure, enhance our sense of well-being, and even improve our cognitive functions. So bird watching is really good for your mental health and also for, uh, it's like a wellness experience. It's really relaxing and it really brings you in touch with 
nature. So don't just only go to the beach, but also come to uh, go into the wild uh, from the land. There are some really nice things to experience here. The sound, the nice vibrant colors of the birds, the trees, and it's really a nice experience. Mm -hmm.